This is uh, Michael Emery with the Voice of Idaho, and I'm sitting here at the top of the hill, going down into uh, off of 205, and we're going to go uh, check out um, the roadblock. We're going to try to go to the Narrows. Um, I don't know if this is getting through, but uh, we're going to try. Um, right now, we're like you can't get a hold of him here. Who are you talk? Call him Brandon. Okay, call Brandon. So we're sitting up at the top. We're going to go. Uh, we're going to see what we can do. And go down in there. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox. Okay, close it off. I'll, I'll try to call him. Trying to call one of our. Anybody? Stream maybe. Wait. Four seven. With the voice of Idaho, we're setting up, coming right off the hill uh, on 205. We're going up to the Narrows to talk to Linda, the lady that owns the, the Narrows uh, restaurant. And, and just a great place. It is. You can see me, okay. I've got on dash as well. So, uh, we're going to get off of here, Brandon, so I can take some photographs. Okay. You see me. the road. We're going to get closer and closer. It seems like this road is open. That does it. It's like that. Uh -huh. Said uh, for all the talk, what was going on? This is pretty bare out there. This, this is interesting. You know, I, I noticed that there's a lot of patrols around, but last night when we were going through, my wife got here. Uh, we stopped in a restaurant. It's about 1.30 in the morning. And there was a lot of assets and SUVs going out to get coffee. It all tacked out. within the government of Harney County, like uh, the sheriff would have addressed the, the grievances. They had a re redress of grievance that is proper within any court of law for basically, you know, exposing improper actions within the Hammond case. All of this comes down, down to that simple point. And that the conditions they said were unsec and unacceptable were that we needed that to have be have full exposure in a court of law. Now, they are the ones that are in the wrong. The uh, occupation out here was an act of desperation to to try to gain uh, uh, to try to gain some exposure. That's what it was all about for this transgression of. I mean, this this this. I don't. I mean, I'm almost speechless. The amount of evidence that we've seen within the Hammond case is is huge. And, and Lee, can you tell people, it's Lee Rice with us, he's helping. Can you tell people uh, where they can find the evidence on the Hammond case? 
Yeah, actually, um, I posted that up on my website, Lee Arthur Rice, on my Facebook page. And uh, all of the documents are out there now on the website. So if that's, it's the Hammond files. Right. Uh, can you tell them some of the, tell the folks out there some of the, 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 the worst, some of the bad things that they, the uh, prosecuting body on the Hammonds did? did well, they, they had evidence to present that would have actually um, exonerated or shown the, uh, the fact that they, they weren't guilty. Uh, so th and therefore, there's actually a due, uh, due process violation all the way around. But, you know, every time I look around and I talk to some of the ranchers, there, I mean, there's reports of pedophilia with an officer that's around. I can't remember his name. You remember his name? I don't recall okay, his name. Okay, well, dang it. Delaney or something like that. I don't know what his name was. I don't think that was him. But in any case, uh, he forced a girl to have uh, oral sex with her, and uh, then she kept the DNA, and that was open source, and then nobody went. The sheriff that was in, oh, he's involved get before. He's going to get you, Mark. Right. The intelligence and knew who was in those vehicles. We know that for a fact. So they do a felony stop. Uh, Payne raises his hands out the window and says, Don't shoot. We have women and children in the vehicle. And they open fire. Now, folks, is that responsibility? No. That's criminality. That itself was a crime. And I'm going to tell you right now, Last night we were sitting with a whole lot of ranchers that, that are sick and tired of this mess. And this is an occupation. Uh, I can't. I've never seen anything like this, where a judicial body. Hold on. I... <coughs> hey, Brandon. Oh, Bruce, I'm on. Oh, right now. So... Oh, Going into a checkpoint, I, I had a hundred phone calls yesterday. Okay, okay, just a minute. We're coming into a check right now <laughs> and recording. Go ahead. Okay, I will. Right after we go through this, we're just coming up to it. All right, it's on our live stream, I think. All right, bye. Now, who that was? That was Bruce who said. Okay. He had some very important to tell us. All right. Uh, Everybody has something to offer. And even something that maybe working for the outside has something to offer. You know, I look at it like this. The truth is the truth. The facts are the facts. And that's the way it is. You can spin it all day long. You can, you can say, oh my gosh, this lawyer said this and that. But from our understanding, Bundy's lawyer is a female. Where is this guy coming for? I mean, who is? He? Is he a is he a signed uh, attorney? Like uh, you would? I mean, who is this guy? And if, and if Ammon wants to say to stand down out here, don't you think that they could have Ammon say it himself? I mean, really? We got this big old thing over here. <coughs> Take a look at this. It's some kind of a, a big old outfit. You think it's news? I don't know. Let's let's see what it is. I bet it's some news agency. Oh, it's ABC. ABC. Oh, it's NBC all News. Hey, NBC News. All the time. Yep, they've got all they got this. Hey, how you guys doing? Now you're arranged. You got your cars. There you go. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Now your range, here we go. We've got a lot of battery life and a lot of battery. Here, oh wow. All right, here we go. Well so we're not. Okay. Now your range, here we go. Gotta go to the narrows. 